Hello and welcome to episode 9 of our Tamiya TT01 race build from RC Empire. In this episode we will be making the final modifications to the powertrain before we hit the track and the race season begins. And following this episode all we'll have left to do is show you what tyres we'll be using and the range of tyres that are used, fitting our suspension upgrades and painting our chosen race body. So let's get straight into it. In this episode we will be fitting the gearing that we have selected for the race series. Now as mentioned, as with the rest of the build, there are certain limitations in what you can run. And this also includes the gearing that you can use. So we can't use the high speed gear set and we also have to use 0.6 mod gears which Tamiya use. And what I've been recommended and what everyone else in the race series runs with this sports tuned motor is what we will be installing today. So what we have here is our brand new pinion gear and brand new spur gear. And we'll be using a 55 tooth spur and 25 tooth pinion and fitting these straight in and showing you just how easy it is to fit these. As already mentioned, one of the great things about this chassis is just how easy it is to access all the components, which is especially good out at the track when you quickly need to change a gear or get to the motor. Now to do this, we want to firstly remove the gear housing. And this will expose our spur gear and motor. And again, unlike the TT02, there's no additional screws from the bottom of the chassis holding the motor mount in. So it's even easier to remove. Now let's see what new bits we have. As with most of these Tamiya gears they come in sets of two so here we have a 24 tooth gear and a 25 tooth gear and we'll be using the 25 tooth one. You can also see in the packet you get three new grub screws. If we put these to one side for now, let's firstly take a look at the spur gear. Again, this is really easy to remove, but really difficult to put back without removing the rear diff case cover. It can be done, it's just very fiddly. So if we just lift everything up, pop the shaft down, and this cup with all the bearings and the spur gear will just pull out like that. And on the other side of this shaft, inside the rear diff case, is the beveled gear that drives the rear diff. And you've got a little spacer there, and a pin holding everything in place. Now with our spur gear, as mentioned, we will be using this 55 tooth one, compared to the 61 tooth one that came out of the car with a 19 tooth pinion. And as you can remember from one of the previous episodes, on 2S we were getting 21 miles per hour top speed with the current setup. So it will be interesting to see what we get with our new 25 tooth pinion and 55 tooth spur gear. And both of the spur gears in this packet are 55 tooth. Now for now, we are just going to put everything back together, but in the coming episode, we will be tearing everything down and giving it a good service and clean. Cleaning all the bearings, all the moving parts, and anything that is likely to bind or affect the running of the car. And show you how we'd go about doing that, and what needs closer attention on the chassis. Now, all you need to do is slide the spur gear onto the shaft, put your pin in to hold everything together, put the bearing back on the back, and push the shaft back into the bevel gear inside the diff housing. As mentioned, aligning this shaft to the beveled gear through this tiny hole can be challenging. So you can remove the rear diff and hold the bevel gear in position from the back to feed the shaft through, which is much easier. But once it's in and aligned, make sure all your bearings are seated nicely and there's no grit or dirt in there. Replace the center shaft and that is it for the spur gear. In terms of the pinion, you will want to put a tiny dab of Loctite on this grub screw because they have a habit of coming loose. And then simply screw the gear onto the motor shaft, 
making sure the grub screw sits on the flat face of the shaft. Then sit your motor back in position, align the pinion to the spur gear. And tighten up the grub screw. And that's it. Note that if you are changing the gears, also make sure that the motor is mounted to the motor mount in the correct orientation and with the correct hold. Because this is how you ensure that the gears are correctly meshed with this type of motor mount. And if you search for Tamiya TT01 gear chart, you will find the chart that tells you which holes to use with which gearing options on the motor mount. But with all that done, you can replace the gear cover. Replace this little clamp on the top. And that's it. And the TT01 is ready to race, apart from your suspension. And if we do a little test. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, in the next episode we will be fitting our chosen shocks which we are very excited about and then we will be ready for some racing action and a few comparison bashing and running videos out at the track and on some open ground. But that's it, please rate, share and subscribe to our channel, thank you for watching and see you soon.